Pectus Warriors, what's going on? It's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com and I am experimenting for you guys. So obviously with exercise, we can build our body, we can fix our posture, we can build pecs, you know, make our pectus look so much less noticeable. What I've been looking into is combining exercise with the vacuum bell. Now I know I used to be very anti the vacuum bell and uh, the reason was, was most of the stuff I read online said it wasn't very good, said that it, the, res the results may have been acutely good but once you took it off you know your sternum just deflated back where it was and so I kind of just like wrote it off and I was like exercise got me such amazing results anyway but I have had a few clients recently who have been using the vacuum bell in conjunction with my training and they were they've achieved an amazing result doing this so I thought why not experiment with myself because I never want to promote something that I haven't done and I'm not promoting it right now. This is the first time I've ever put this on me. And let me just tell you, I freaked out when I first put it on. It's kind of freaky, like it's hard for me to talk right now and like breathe because it's like a lot of pressure. But I'm just documenting this process because I want to show you like whether it makes any changes because obviously I've built my physique to such an extent where my pectus is hardly noticeable anymore. But there still is that deviation, you know, there still is that slight, ooh. The vacuum bell just lost pressure. I was probably talking too much. Oh, I might just take it off now. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I think I went way too hard. <laughs> Look at that bruising. Oh, wow. I think I overdid that. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> These marks are a bit weird though. Wow, okay. What the fuck? This was so weird, man. This like literally changed the shape of my sternum. I honestly didn't even think it would work at all. This is genuinely my first time using it. I don't know about these red marks though, that's a bit sus. I was gonna say already, you could just, even if it's just acutely, that was only 30 minutes and it just sucks on so you don't even have to like, do anything it just stays there like you can keep moving around but so it'd be awesome you could just do that and then have your chest like looking flatter and your physique looking all jack before going to the beach or something but those red marks are a bit of a concern at least the bruising's gone down i don't know this is kind of fun experimenting with this this could take like you know guys if we combine this if this actually does work for me and has like some kind of permanent reduction some permanent like um, elevation of my sternum this combined with exercise could be like like you you won't even oh, I'm excited at the possibilities here so we'll see what happens I'll keep using it and I'll give you guys a real report it's not a permanent change um, yet which is why I was kind of against it because I was like sure it makes your sternum flatter but then it goes back so what's the point but Apparently, over use, over time, it will make a permanent change to some degree. Right now, I'm about to put it on. Obviously, my pectus is not very noticeable since like, I've built my physique and I've built my pecs up, but I still do have the indented chest to some degree. Not that it bothers me, but for the research purposes. And so I'm gonna see exactly how deep it is right now and see how deep it is once I use the vacuum bell. It's three centimeters. Three centimeters. Now I've got to put the vacuum bell on. So it literally sucks off just by pressing it. Give it a pump. First time I put this on, I freaked out so much. It was such an uncomfortable feeling, but you get pretty used to it. You want to make sure the skin's not wet. I tried to put it on when my skin was wet. Did not work. And then you just pump this and that creates the vacuum it like seals it and I straight away can see it pulling my sternum out just from doing that. And then I'm just gonna go about my business, do all my emails, replying to you Pectus Warriors, programming for my clients, and keep it on for 30 minutes. You're supposed to do it two by 30 minute sessions a day. I've been pretty lazy because it's hard for me to do that. It's hard for me to remember and like care about it because I feel like I've conquered my pectus. Like it, I, I like my pectus. I like the slight indent. It makes my pecs look bigger, you know. I like the way I've shaped my physique with pectus. So it's, I'm literally only doing this for you guys. So I always forget to do it because I don't care about it. But I'm trying to do it because I want to see the result for you guys. 
All right, so I just took the vacuum belt off and this is pretty crazy. Look at that. <laughs> you can basically say, no more pectus, my chest is flat. It's so crazy. Let's get a measurement to officially see. All right. The verdict is in. It's a one centimeter depression, but I think that is just because of my pecs protruding. Uh, like, obviously, the, I don't have muscle developed there, so there is no protrusion of the muscle. So basically, my sternum is actually as flat as it can be. It's a flat sternum, uh, just through the use of that. Now, obviously, I did just take the vacuum bell off, and with my previous experiences of using it, it does go back in. So we'll see. I'll film from this exact same spot in a couple of hours and you'll see kind of where we're at. So although it, it does depress back over time, something that is quite interesting to note, I did a training session the other night training my chest for pectus and when I was doing the workout, it was crazy as to actually, the no I noticed a difference in my sternum and I hadn't used the vacuum bell, like I don't think I used it that day, I think I forgot. So in 24 hours plus, and my sternum was still different when I was training. My pectus was even less noticeable than normal through training. Pretty crazy, it's definitely having some kind of permanent effect already. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. But so far, like, if it's doing this immediately, I can't imagine, you know, what it would do, um, what it would be like, you know, with extended use, you know, I've probably used it once a day for the last week, and I've forgotten twice, because as I said before, it's not so important to me. Um, but for you guys, man, this could be a game changer. But the thing is, you have to pair it with exercise because the vacuum belt isn't going to get your posture straight. The vacuum belt isn't going to build your muscle. Your physique will not. And considering the sternum does depress back down a little bit after its use, it's not going to conquer pectus without training and without the stretching, without the proper bodybuilding, without the muscular physique. So it needs to be used in conjunction. So I'll check back in, guys, after, you know, maybe a month or two months of using it and see if it's made a permanent elevation of my sternum. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But so far, so good. Now, from my research with where you can get the vacuum bell, there's a lot of shit vacuum bells out there and a lot of people have reported no result at all losing suction it's, it's just not being good so don't buy the ebay one don't buy the cheap one <laughs> okay um i got mine from vacuumbell.net and also vac pectus healing is sending me one as well i'm going to try that i haven't tried the pectus healing one yet i will try that as well i've heard really good things about pectus healing so i'm going to try both the pectus healing one just hasn't come but the vacuum bell net one is what i've been using to get these results and I mean, it works like crazy. So I'm not like crazy. I'm not like affiliated with these companies. Okay, so they're not paying me money to be making this video. This is not a sales video. This is just experimentation. I mean, I'm I got <laughs> I'm trialing two different vacuum bells, so you can tell that I'm not just like, you know, this isn't just some branded bullshit. This is just me trying to help you guys with pectus and trying to figure out the perfect way we can treat it without surgery. Okay, because. For me, surgery was scary, expensive, and not what I wanted to do. And I'm sure it's probably the same for you, and that's why you're watching all my videos. Or you've maybe had the surgery, and you took the nuts bar out, and then your pectus went back in, which does happen a bit as well. So maybe that's you, in which case I think the application of my training, my stretching, my exercises, plus a vacuum belt will be very effective. But yeah, guys, that is a week of trialing the vacuum belt. Pretty crazy results. Stay tuned for more videos documenting my use of it. And stay tuned for more edu educational videos in regards to training and stretching the pectus excavatum. And if you did like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. It helps me be found on YouTube, which is obviously helpful. Remember to subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any future videos. And lastly, if you are wanting to fix pectus without surgery, then I would recommend signing up for the Pectus Transformation Project. Link will be in description to sign up for that. Everything you need to transform your pectus will be provided. And you get me as your coach checking in with you, making sure you get those results. So if that sounds good to you, the payment is from 229 US, so it's not like a crazy expensive outlay. And if that sounds good to you, link is in bio. So check that out too. Peace.